of you thought it was a speed dating event, you are going to be sorely disappointed. That is not what's happening here. Uh, but it's better. It's better than speed. There's no, uh, there's no sting of disappointment. And most importantly, there's free food. There's never free food at a speed dating event. And also, some of you thought this had to do with the Fast and the Furious. And you thought there might be some Filipinos coming in with a car on two wheels. Not at all. There is a Filipino food truck. But otherwise, that is it. This is, uh, this is just a celebration. It coincides with the, with the month of Ramadan. And this is a celebration of, uh, of food and community. Your own community here in Toronto and the, and the you know, greater Canadian community. So make yourselves comfortable. I'm going to let you know what you have uh, in store for you over there. You've got, um, you know, as some of you who will know about Ramadan, Ramadan, food is a big part of it. Going without food is a big part of it, and then food is a big part of it. And uh, Danny and Lisa Asaf, who you, you will meet here in a little while, they, it, is, it is their generosity and the generosity of our sponsors that have given you a bunch of free food. So some of that is over there. You're going to see Zabiha, Zabiha Halal is, uh, is offering, I mean, thousands of hot dogs. Uh, for uh, for you, you can get them right now. You can get them if you're breaking your fast at uh, at about quarter to nine. You have uh, Fresh Co has uh, thousands of salads that they've assembled for people. There are uh, dates and nuts. There's a bunch of stuff over there that you can see and and, um, and get your hands on. I want to point out we have a merch tent over there. There are hats and T-shirts. They are 25 bucks cash or credit proceeds from those uh, t-shirts are going to go to the daily food bank of toronto and second harvest please support that good cause over there at that tent those will be selling out before the end of this night uh, we also are welcoming back voices of toronto this is the third year for fast on the six voices of toronto is with us again they are uh, an installation that is committed to celebrating diverse voices in this city uh, check out their, their installation, check out their new book that is coming out that is going to hit store shelves soon or you can buy it tonight before it's in stores. We're going to break for the fast at 8, uh, for, for, for the fast at 844. If anybody needs to pray inside City Hall, there is a space that has been set aside for people who would like to pray after the fast. Besides that, we've got a wonderful show, uh, some amazing talent. Rapper, songwriter Roz is here. Comedian Mo Amer is here. Canadian singer, songwriter Andy is here. We've got incredible talent. We've got great people talking. We've got the mayor coming up here to see it, say a few words. Uh, spend some time sharing the positive energy of this evening. And, uh, and we'll be back to start the show within the next 10 minutes. Uh, get some food in hand and make yourselves comfortable. We'll see you shortly. Thank you. My name is Ali Hassan. I'll be emceeing this evening. This is a, uh, a celebration during the month of Ramadan. Part of that celebration involves food. The best food is free food. I think you're getting that vibe. That's always the most delicious, tasty food. This is not a, it's not a religious event, but it is, uh, it is in, uh, in conjunction with Ramadan, which is a very personal and spiritual event for a lot of people. For some people, it's uh, it's about community. So you might believe in God, you might not believe in God, but last night, while you were watching the Toronto Raptors, I believe most of you believed in God. How about those Toronto Raptors? How about those Toronto Raptors? I saw a guy punch himself in his own head yesterday at a, at a sports bar. That is the that is what the Toronto Raptors can do to you. Everybody was believing in God last night. Um, today, we're going to, uh, we're just going to celebrate. You've got food, as I mentioned. That is an important part of this. You have got, there's merchandise over here, fresh juice. You have a number of, uh, uh, of various food trucks that are here. Those are paid food trucks. Those aren't free, but, you know, those are people running businesses. But that is halal food kosher food over there that you'll uh, you'll enjoy and uh, we got a great night a lot of a lot of various talent coming should I should I pose for this or should I act like you're not there I'm not sure which one to do <laughs> so I want to start this evening off by inviting the organizers this has been 
three years in a row that this event has taken place. Uh, it has taken place underneath beautiful sunshine and great weather, and I think that is because it comes from such a beautiful, honest place. These are these are the organizers of this event. Um, both of them are involved in a lot of community initiatives. They ask nothing of you. They just uh, want to make sure we can all celebrate together as a community. And uh, their passions are diversity, unity, and prosperity. And you'll hear that a number of times tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice round of applause to Danny and Lisa Asaf. Or just Danny. Lisa, you're going to go alone, brother. Well, thank you everybody and welcome. It's a pleasure to have everybody here tonight. Ramadan Mubarak, Assalamu Alaikum, Bienvenue, welcome. We all want to thank you for coming to join us to celebrate the third annual Fast in the Six. My better half and co-founder Lisa, I'm going to ask her to come up on the stage with us. Now to start the program as everybody gets settled, I want to take a minute and to thank all of our fantastic sponsors for everything that they do to make this evening the great evening that it is. Each year, it gets bigger and better, and it's thanks and exclusively to them. Nothing happens without the support of great people to make this dream come true. So first, I would like to thank the City of Toronto. They have been a cornerstone partner from the very beginning, and a great deal of thanks to Mayor Tory and Councillor Michael Thompson in particular. Also, I'd like to take a minute to thank our presenting sponsor, Uniform. We want to thank them for their generous support, which is a pillar again of this year's event. We are proud to have Uniform as our partner with their leadership on diversity and for their voice and work towards greater shared prosperity in our economy for everybody. Also, Zabiha Halal, Canada's number one halal brand, and are proud to be the only halal food sponsor for Fast in the Six. And Zabiha Halal has been a cornerstone of this event. It's a company that represents the best of our community and generously gives back and support. Also, we want to thank Freshco for your generous support for the third year and another pillar of this event and makes this experience what it is today. We know Freshco values bringing community together, not only in their grocery stores, obviously, but in supporting events like this. Also, I'd like to take a minute to thank TD for its continued support of Fast in the Six. It is a true community bank that is a leader in supporting the community projects and giving back. In addition, Air Canada, we'd love to thank them for their partnership and ensuring that for a third year in a row, we enjoy artists from all over North America to come here and entertain us. RBC, we would like to thank them for their generous support and their commitment to community and the strength and contributing to the strength of our diversity and a bank that stands behind its commitment to inclusion. Also, Oxford Properties, and we have to greatly thank them from the very beginning for their strong partnership and belief, and they build community in every way, not just in buildings. Also, this year to add KPMG, we'd love to thank them for their leadership in supporting our mission to bring us together and their work to highlight and build our city's strengths. DBRS, and to thank them for their support and their belief in the strength of our diversity and it being the greatest asset to our future prosperity. Of course, Tories, I'd like to thank them and my partners for their continued support. Tories is the leader in promoting diversity and fairness both inside and outside the firm. Also, our other partners, Maxwell Realty, we'd love to thank them for their generous support, big hearts and big believers in our community. And I also want to take a minute to say thank you to our incredible in-kind sponsors, OCI Architecture, the DMZ, Western Harbor Castle, the Daily Hive, Flow Water, Mick Cafe, and Coca-Cola for all their generous contributions to make this event what it is. And finally, the Voices of Toronto, which you can see them over here with this beautiful display and these cards to show and express our love of our city in such a beautiful way. And I'd like to thank Sue Farrow and Jennifer Pernfuss, beautiful souls with a beautiful project. Please join me in thanking all of these wonderful sponsors who made it possible for all of us to be here this evening. And now I'd like to turn it over to my wife, Lisa, to say a couple of words.
Hi everybody. I just wanted to welcome you again to our third Fast in the Six. And we wanted to thank you for all coming out to join us in celebrating the diversity of this amazing city that we're lucky to call home. You are what make the city great and thank you all for being here to celebrate with us. Thank you, Lisa. And just a, a few words uh, to emphasize uh, and to pick up on Lisa and her points. Each year, Lisa and I are grateful for the support and the opportunity we receive from every corner of our community to have this event. From government, labor, corporate Canada, and most importantly, from all of you here tonight. An event where we can all express our love of our city and our passion for our greater community and come together to just share a meal. In many ways, sharing a meal and experience is a way to counteract a world that has become a little more impersonal. A world where maybe we text and tweet where we should talk a little more. And that distance can create distrust. And that distrust has the potential to create dislike as space opens for others to fill those voids with self-serving or manipulative narratives because we lose that de direct connection to one another. But there is nothing more direct than connecting and sharing a meal with one another. Sharing something with someone is a real experience, and that does not lie to you. There is no intervener to try to convince you otherwise. Direct connection is the best way to know your neighbor and to fight and combat those narratives that seek to tear our community apart rather than bring us together, no matter what anyone on Twitter has to say. And most importantly, sharing reinforces connection. And connection nurtures compassion, and compassion creates community. We lose, if we lose our compassion, we lose our community. And in this connected and interdependent 21st century economy, it's our collective community and what we all can do together that will determine our future shared prosperity. And most importantly, ensuring that next generation is set to be more prosperous with, even, with an, an even stronger and more cohesive union is our collective greatest responsibility. Previous generations did that for us, and that is the Canadian way. And that is why Lisa and I look forward to do this every year. And that belief in that special Canadian way is most importantly what brings everybody out here, all of you, tonight. So God bless Toronto, God bless Canada, and enjoy. Fast in the Six, Diversity, Unity, Prosperity, Community. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Minister Christia Freeland. What can you say about this great representative? She is our Minister of Foreign Affairs, but I like to joke, she is the Minister of Fix All of the Hard and Difficult Things. It seems like there is no task that she is not up to the challenge, whether it's with our friends south of the border in negotiating tariffs or the complicated new trade agreement or managing our relationships with great countries like China and looking after our interests in the Middle East while all the time standing up for Canadian values. And also, while she is a parent of three children and knows what this future and how important that world needs and how important Canada's role in that world will be in shaping a future that is similar and better than the past. So we'd like to thank her for her leadership, her, all her support for the Fast and the Six from its very inception. Minister Freeland, please, we'd love to welcome you up to the stage. Chaleureuse, ça me fait un très grand plaisir d'être ici parmi vous ce soir, ici chez moi, chez nous dans notre ville magnifique de Toronto. Um, so it is so great to be here tonight, and I want to start by thanking Danny and Lisa for their amazing work. You know, I think what makes our city and our country so great is the vast number of Canadians who understand how important it is to give back to our community 
and to build our community. And that is exactly what Danny and Lisa do every day, and that is exactly what they have done with Fast in the Six. I am convinced that this has become as much a feature of our city's calendar of the year as the Santa Claus Parade, and that is a great thing. Um, I want to acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation. Um, I also want to give a shout out to my colleague, former Parliamentary Secretary, Omar Algabra. Omar, I don't know where you are, but I'm waiting. Oh, there he is. Omar's back there. I'm really glad to see you here tonight. Um, and Omar is a fantastic voice. Uh, in Ottawa and I have enjoyed working very closely with him very much. Um, we're here on Nathan Phillips Square. We're going to hear from the guy who is our host, I think in a minute, John Tory. But I just want to personally say how lucky I feel to live in a city who has such a hard working, thoughtful mayor. Someone who in the way he operates every single day shows that he really gets that for us in Toronto, our diversity is our strength. Plus, John, I think he's an energizer bunny. I don't know what he drinks or eats, but I have never been to an event in Toronto that John is not also at. So let's give a thank you to our amazing mayor. So I am really glad to be here because I am glad to be celebrating with Canada's amazing Muslim community. Um, there are more than one million Muslim Canadians of diverse ethnic backgrounds. You guys serve our country as teachers, lawyers, chefs, entrepreneurs, NHL hockey players, uh, and everything else. Uh, there are, I'm really proud to say, fantastic Muslim Canadians in our caucus. I've mentioned Omar who's here with us tonight and I happen to have two fantastic cabinet colleagues who are Muslim Canadians, Maria Monsef and Ahmed Hussein. Um, and it is really fantastic the contribution they are making. Um, I think we're all here to celebrate a wonderful moment in the calendar and the diversity of our community. But I think all of us will also be reflecting on some terrible things that have been happening in the world. Uh, the attack in Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, and I think that attack was terrible in and of itself and maybe for us as Canadians brought a special horror because it reminded us of the white supremacist attack that took the lives of six Muslims at a mosque in Quebec City. And so I do want to take this opportunity to be serious for a moment and to say, as I said at the United Nations Security Council earlier this year, white supremacy and Islamophobia are real and they are among the gravest terrorist threats that the world is facing today. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, incels, nativists, and radical anti-globalists who resort to violent acts are a threat to the stability of Canada and the stability of the world, and we have to recognize that and we have to act. Canadian Muslims, especially young Muslims, and it's great to see so many kids here, especially Muslim women, should feel safe on the internet. They should feel just as safe going to school, praying at a mosque, and they should feel safe whether they are wearing a hijab or anything else that they choose to wear. That is a promise and a commitment in our country. And I want to say to everyone here, that is a very strong conviction of our government. It's a strong conviction of my own, and it's a very strong conviction and commitment from the Prime Minister. So, in my job, I inevitably travel a lot. And I have to say, leaving our country helps me to understand and appreciate how fabulous our country is. And being home tonight 
on an amazing evening like today where we really show in how we live with each other that our diversity really is our strength. It's a reminder for me of how lucky I am, how lucky all of us are to live in the greatest city, in the greatest country in the world. And it's great, not because of the weather, guys, it's great because of who we are as Canadians and what we do every day to make our country so amazing. So thank you everyone for everything you do. Thank you for letting me be here to celebrate with you tonight. Ramadan Mubarak. As we uh, head close to the breaking of the fast, I want to introduce, uh, first I want to thank Minister, Minister Freeland again for her great remarks and all she does. And now I want to introduce our leader, the leader of this great city, and a man who we are not surprised won a fantastic second mandate with the support of, almost, of every single constituency in this city. And that is a testament to his hard work, to his vision, and to his sacrifice to make this city what it is and to build upon its strength for this generation and the next. And that man is John Tory. I'd like to welcome Mayor Tory up to the stage. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Ramadan Mubarak, everybody, and uh, thank you so much for uh, coming to Nathan Phillips Square and to Toronto City Hall to celebrate Ramadan and for this iftar celebration tonight. And I want to begin, of course, by thanking Danny and Lisa and all the sponsors, everybody on their team, because they'd be the first to say that it's been a great team that's put this event on. I've been here uh, all three years, and it's getting bigger and it's getting better uh, every single year. And I am so proud of the fact that it happens uh, in the heart of our civic democracy here. Uh, it, it, I think it says a lot about Toronto that we have uh, this event here and that somebody would organize it. And I know from the people that I've talked to already this evening, uh, there are people here who are members of our Muslim community, our wonderful Muslim community, and people who aren't. And that is the essence of what Toronto is all about. We celebrate each other. We celebrate each other's special occasions. We celebrate each other's faiths and nationalities. And every aspect of people, we learn about each other. And I think that's what makes the city a success. You know, we've just finished having 25,000 people here from around the world for a technology conference called Collision. And those people sensed the way of life here. They sensed because they could see it with their own eyes, the diversity of the city. And they sensed the way of life here. And a lot of them asked me questions about what is it that's different about this place. And I said, what's different, and it's not meant to be critical of anybody else, is that we accept and embrace everybody. We know everybody can contribute. We know everybody is a human being that is going to be part of the team and that we can learn from each other and learn from our differences and learn about each other. And that is something we must never stop doing in this city because that's what makes it special to live here and what makes the output of the city so special in terms of that way of life and how prosperous and successful that we are. I also have learned a lot myself about what Ramadan is all about as a time of spiritual growth and a time of, of reflection, a time of sacrifice. I have, I've even learned a little bit about fasting. Um, I chose this year as a sign of my own respect and affection for this uh, faith community uh, to fast for a day. Now, I wasn't informed completely of the rules and started fasting at 10 o'clock the night before, not knowing that I could get up before uh, early morning prayers and have uh, something to eat. So I went through the day until 9 o'clock that night, and I will admit that I was a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty, uh, but I made it through the day, and the only time that was a little bit sketchy was around 4 o'clock in the afternoon when I got tired. And I was in a meeting about the TTC at that time. So if things don't go well for the TTC, you'll know maybe it was me being tired from fasting uh, that afternoon. May I just conclude, may I just conclude uh, by saying, and by, by the way, I should say I've been to, I guess, probably seven or eight iftar uh, dinners this year. And you know, certainly the, we had one right here at the city hall. We had several hundred people here uh, to, to have prayers at the end of the day at sundown and to celebrate an iftar dinner together. And it was a wonderful occasion just about two weeks ago. But the common thread to all of those events, 
and something the community, the rest of the community doesn't know that much about as yet was that on every single one of those occasions there was something very special done for the community by those who were observing uh, Ramadan and, and having an iftar dinner, whether it was raising money for hospitals or other community causes. And I think that's a great part of the generous aspect of Ramadan that we have to tell more people about so they know this community is not just doing that during the holy month of Ramadan, but all year long I've seen it with my own eyes. And I want to just conclude by saying thank you uh, to uh, this faith community because I have been around to a lot of the mosques for the Juma prayers, uh, for the iftar dinners, for many, many other occasions. And I can see the contributions that are being made in every aspect of life in our city, whether it's politics, culture, uh, business. Um, every aspect of life in our city is being enriched uh, by the fact that we are so fortunate to have a wonderful contributing community, a faith community, uh, the, who are members of the Islamic faith. And I thank you for that. I thank you for being at City Hall. And again, I wish you Ramadan Mubarak. And I look forward to some of the Eid celebrations to come uh, in a very short period of time. Thank you very much. much Mayor Tory. That's nice of him to be here. Busy man. Everybody's enjoying their food. Uh, I want to, uh, I know that it's free and that's why it's delicious, but I definitely want to uh, give some respect to the city of Toronto and, uh, and, and how good the food scene is in this city. Let's hear a little cheer for Toronto. This is, this is a great place to eat. I can tell you that because I travel around Canada with my work and uh, there's not all great places in Canada to eat. This is great. I had a Vietnamese sub the other day in Toronto that was so good that I called my mother to thank her for immigrating to Canada. That's how good that sub was. That's a weird call to call your Pakistani mother and thank her for Vietnamese food. I'm pretty sure she thought I was high. It doesn't matter what she thought. The point is that we have a, a great food scene and I travel around Toronto's got such wonderful food here oh god for you I have fasted and in you I place my trust and with your food I break my fast I mean when I said short prayer I wasn't joking I didn't realize how short I pretty much should have just stayed here um that is it. That is the prayer, the breaking of the fast. Uh, as I mentioned off the top, there are Muslims here. More than half of you are non-Muslims. Uh, we're happy to have you here. This is a celebration of, uh, of a lot of things. Ramadan is, but it mo mainly it's a celebration of food. So uh, please enjoy yourself. We are going to be back uh, just a little bit after 9 with our entertainment. For those of you who may need a, play, uh, a place to pray, inside Nathan Phillips Square, there is a place set aside for anybody who wants to go for prayer. And we'll see you right back after 9 o'clock. Thank you. So there was no event. There, there was no event. But there is music. So, um, this is in my side with 30 mustards. Uh, I am speaking for myself. I am not breaking my fast here. I'm going to go to uh, Sheikh Didat Center and uh, break my fast, pray my Maghrib here in Adan, and uh, worship my God. Assalamu alaikum from Nathan Phillips Square. And it just happens the brother is here on his own. I'm speaking for myself, but the brother just opened Salam his alaykum, mouth. Ramadan, Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak. It's always good to meet Brother Himi okay. and uh, his amazing work, the Jail Walk, the, the blog he does in Ramadan. He ran for uh, uh, mayoral candidates and he has been part of the environmental cleanup in the city and many, many more initiatives. So keep going, my brother. Okay. Okay.